Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenmara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And I have a tail today, that's weird. Sorry. <laughs> uh, tonight we are going to be offering the weekly rune reading for each of the four elements for the week of November 10th through the 16th. As with most or all <laughs> intuitive readings, these are timeless, so no matter when you actually get to hear this, um, take what works for you, leave the rest for someone else. There's always a message for each and every person in every reading, really from any reader. So <laughs> um, if you are new to studying the elements or the zodiac in the link in the description, there is a natal interpretation chart, which is your birth chart, the circle with the 12 houses. And then there's also in the link posted it comes with a uh, 10 to 20 page description of what all that means including your elemental alignment if you've never seen that um, I'm not affiliated or anything like that but it would it's a cool um, it's a cool piece of paper or set of papers and it gives you a lot of really interesting in-depth information um, I go back to mine quite frequently cause, and every time I do I feel like I learn something else so We'll start off with our fire family for our weekly reading. And fire covers Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So our fire family, your first rune is Tiawaz, which is the Tear god of war. Color of bright red, tarot association is justice, and astrology is Libra, so we're working with some air here. Uh, signifies courage and energy, the power to weave the pattern of your own life. Fire this week. You're the one who trims your sails. You're the one that sets your sails. What do you want to do with your life? Where are you headed? What goals, dreams, ambitions are you? have you started but just haven't put a lot of effort into it? This week they're wanting to, you to know this is a week to put some in, uh, attention on those things, put a little effort into it. If it's been set aside due to everyday life occurring this is a time to double check reevaluate are you still wanting to go with that particular goal dream ambition and they're they're saying this could it, uh, be a something that a business idea like a side hustle or even maybe turning a side hustle into a main job um, this is the time to really put some attention to that and pay it and see what's going on because they're saying that the stars are kind of lining up for you this week fire and it's a good time to really examine more into the thing that you've already got going. So your second rune is Burkhana. Sorry, which is birth. It's color of dark green. Tarot association is the Empress. Astrology is Virgo. Working with some earth here. Um, renewal, promise of new beginnings, new growth, birth, family, and the home. When these two come together, what I'm feeling is you have this really awesome trajectory you've got things started you've got a good foundation it's now time to bring it into fruition this week they're saying you may not manifest it fully but this is a really good time to re-examine is there anything that you have missed with whatever goal it is you're working towards they're saying that the energy that's coming forward this week is really saying you have a strong foundation you've got some things started this is the week to double check on the things you've gotten started. Where are you at? Where are you headed? What more can you add to the things that you have got going on? And with that being said, what else is it that you can add? Like how can you take it from this level to this level? So it's a growth potential. That's where the birth energy comes in. The tear god of war energy is saying, it's time to really put some focus on these things. They're not just something to think about that maybe one day down the road, 10, 20, 30 years, it'll be something important. They're saying this week's a good week to really put some effort into that because the birthing process, that creation aspect is being offered to you this week in wherever that manifests, whether it's relationships, whether it's work, whether it's home. This is the week to put the This is the week to put the attention on it. So let's hop over to 
Where am I at? <laughs> Earth. Earth is our next, and Earth covers Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So, Earth, your first rune. Do, 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 do. Where'd it go? I don't see this one too often in readings. It's Laguz. It's the water rune, which is color of deep green. Tarot association is the star. Astrology is the moon. So we're looking at some very strong water influences in your life. If you are earth dominant water, this could be for you or if you have water and earth in your chart. Um, but it's also the meaning here is unconscious intuition, mystery, psychic awareness, hidden sources of creativity. Earth, the first rune that you have is really saying, what are you dreaming about right now? What is it your subconscious is tapping you on the shoulder like, dee dee dee, hello, pay attention. What is it that you're feeling gut instinct led towards? This week is really saying, you have the stars and the moon coming forward. So you've got something coming from the celestial side, the spiritual big out there side wanting to get your attention, wanting to pass a message along. Um, we'll see with your second rune what direction that's going to go. But what I'm hearing is it's going to come from an intuitive state. It's going to come from a flow state. They're saying that this is not something that you are going to actively pursue this week. This is something that's going to come to you. And they're really wanting to emphasize this gut instinct thing. So pay attention to those little vibe checks that you get through the day because we all get them and yours are going to be particularly loud this upcoming week is what I'm hearing. Your second rune is Degas, so this is the day rune. Terror color is light blue, tarot association is temperance, astrology is dark moon, awakening and clarity indicating success, prosperity, and abundance in life. So this one's saying that whatever's going to happen in your subconscious is actually going to step into the light of day, but you have to birth it out of the darkness. The dark moon and the moon together are saying this is going to come from like a subconscious, a dream state. It's going to possibly leach into the awakened mind. It could pop up as an aha moment where that light bulb things or it could be something that you're working on and all of a sudden you just see a different way to examine it and it actually puts you know two and two together and all of a sudden you have the equation for what you're looking for but you also it's coming in because you're a with the temperance card and with the star it's coming in from the sky but it's because you found a new balance earth what i'm hearing is you are in a different state now you have not been struggling as much as you have in the past. Doesn't mean you're not probably working on something, but it says what it's saying is in the past, you've worked a lot harder to re achieve so much less. And right now you're in a situation to actually achieve more because you found a new balance, but it's coming in intuitively. It's not something where I'm gonna take this class and I am going to do all this work and I am going to follow this very set, strict, rigorous plan and I'm only going to do the steps in this plan. They're saying, don't do that. That's not gonna work for Earth this sort of time. Earth tends to be that way. They like their plans, they like their lists, but right now it's saying that's not going to function so well for you. This week is about following your instincts, tapping into that more fluid, watery state, accessing the inner feminine energy where it's more of a gentle it's more receptive they're saying be more open to these changes as they're coming in because it's going to be pretty go with the flow for you it's not going to be something you have to struggle or work towards is what i'm hearing um, and again these readings are general so take what works leave the rest and doing general readings for a group is a little bit tricky sometimes because you're getting information that's covering a broad range of people that's the reason you kind of have to p take what resonates what vibes what that gut check feeling is because that's what's actually applying to you out of that reading so moving on to the next we have air air covers Gemini Libra and Aquarius air your first rune and I almost have this name memorized is the um, Iowa's rune, which is the yew tree. Color of dark blue, a tarot association is the hanged man, and astrology is Scorpio, so you're working with some serious water energy. Um, 
protection, time of death and rebirth, using foresight and perseverance. Air. What is it that you are stuck on? What is it that you are just absolutely, this is the only option, there's no other way to look at this. What is it that is that in your life? This rune is saying, no such thing exists. If you are so focused that this is the only option, you are missing every other opportunity. You are looking at this from a locked-in, structured state, which is fine for some things. But in this instance, it's not actually going to benefit you. This is one of those things where, okay, you have this goal. This is what this is where it's at. This is where you have to be. You cannot veer outside of that. They're saying, step back, look around. You're missing a piece. You're not seeing another opportunity that would actually make this journey simpler or at least maybe ease some of the tension around it because they're saying you have this you're, you're, you're intense on what you're looking for which is great but your intensity has become so single-minded that you are not paying attention you're not seeing the forest for the trees type of a thing and that's what they're saying is you have other options there's other opportunities that are coming along they're like standing on the sidelines waving but you're not you've got blinders on right now and that's not helping you so what I'm hearing with this one specifically to the error element this week is step back from the situation you're working on and look around there's something else there the hanged man is definitely is a time of calling you forward to look at stuff from a different perspective he's hanging upside down he's not dying but he's trying to understand another way of looking at something and that's what's coming up for this rune your second rune is Othila, which is the ancestral property rune, uh, color of deep yellow, tarot association is the moon, astrology is the full moon. We're really tapping into your water this week, air, because I'm, yeah, you had Scorpio in the last one, and then you have the moons in this one. So, uh, air, this could be air dominant water, air with water, it could be partnership with water. Um, note the people who are more watery in your life, because this is saying that there's going to be a connection here. Um, it's possessions, inheritances, real property, but also inherited abilities and traits. So, air. What gifts, talents, and skills do you have that you have looked at in a negative aspect? Oh, my intuition is just out of control. I just, it needs to be quiet. No. My emotions, just, they're just all over the place. Well, why? The hanged man coming in with Othila is saying, these are things that you have been gifted. You've been granted talents, skills, and abilities. Things that are here to help you on your journey. They're saying that this is... A, it's, sorry, this is being a little clustered right now. They're saying that because the hanged man is coming forward, really emphasis on that card for some reason, you have locked yourself into a state of thinking and a state of pattern, which is fine. But because you've locked yourself in, you're missing the gifts that are else that are around you. When you have a Thilo coming in, offering the moon and the full moon, these are intuitive abilities. These are very intense call outs to what is it you're not paying attention to within your own gift set, your clairs, all of that. Because to make everything work with the hanged man and the rest of it is saying you have got gifts that were granted to you by your physical ancestors and your spiritual ancestors those gifts are there to help you work through this process to help you achieve the goals in life before you came into this world these were agreements set in place and when you talk about the othila rune tied into i just lost the name of it <laughs> it was it's saying you have got this ability don't forget the things that came before you whether it is someone who started a business that you're stepping into whether it's a family line thing with other energies don't forget the things that came before the things that you've been gifted granted or inherited those are going to help you see this different perspective and actually help you grow through this process so let's hop over to our water family before I get too deep in any of these. <laughs> uh, water covers Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or have water high up in your chart, 
We're starting off with Iwas, which is another one that sounds like another one. Um, this one, though, is the Horse Rune, color of white. Tarot Association is the Lovers. Got your water going on here. And Astrology is Gemini, so air and water. It sounds like you two are going to be pairing up this week at some point. Uh, travel and change, uh, new job, new home, spiritual journeys, and movement. Water, what I'm getting for this is you've been kind of stagnant. Things have been moving, but not the way you would like them to, so you just kind of settled, and that happens. But what they're saying this week is going to trigger some motion within you. It's going to trigger some movement, whether it's going on a trip, whether it is starting that new meditation practice, triggering the spiritual movement. There's some movement that's being called forward. But you have the lovers and Gemini, which are both pairs. The lovers is a male, female, masculine, feminine, however you want to look at it combining to join as one and the Gemini are two different they're the twins of air but they think as one they just have different ways of expressing it <laughs> so you've got this energy coming forward of two and one with this week so pay attention to the dynamic of opposites the positive and the negative the masculine and the feminine the light and the dark the hot and the cold there's a bazillion of binaries out there and they're saying this week really pay attention to how that interaction occurs because especially with the way air's reading was with very dominant water and you're starting off with water dominant air really look at the dynamic between you and the air within but also the air around with other people like the air signs that you're surrounded by are going to really work well with you this week or at least there's going to be some connections that are going on this week with air so your second rune is the algae's rune which is protection color of gold tarot association is the moon astrology is cancer really focusing on that water this with this one uh protection from danger resisting temptations new beginnings are possible so don't get caught up in the absolute need for movement it could be something really subtle because this rune here is really saying there's movement available to you this rune saying you're protected just make sure you're taking the right course of action so between these two water this week it could be a little bit turbulent they're not saying it's going to be bad there's just going to be a lot of movement occurring whether that's at work your personal life however but you've also got this union of opposites so within your relationship there could be a little bit of a dynamic shift going on and they're actually <laughs> they're showing me that that part is going to be awesome if you're in a relationship and that dynamic is shifting um, it's going to be for the better and it's going to be enjoyable is what I'm hearing. But if it's a work or business thing, uh, there could be some shifting in uh, co-workers. There could be a promotion. There could be someone, a new manager coming in above you. There's a lot of things that are possible. And this week, as they're saying, it's just going to be a lot of movement involved. The blessings here are you're protected through all of this. So... If you and your partner are having a little dynamic shift and it's moving into a way better spot, that's what they're showing me, uh, enjoy that because you're protected from the outside slings and arrows. If it's at work and things are shifting around, from what I'm hearing right now is you're kind of set where you're at, like things are doing well for you, and all the stuff moving around you is not really going to affect you that much. So don't stress about things this week is what I'm hearing. Overall, for everyone here, Water, air, pay attention to your dynamic this week. You guys are bonded pretty close with your reading, and I'm hearing that that is actually going to play out in the physical as well, whether it's coworkers, relationships, um, more intimate relationships, or however. Water and air are going to be very, very friendly this week. Or fire, you're kind of lone wolfing it, but it's because you need to put some focus on things you're working on. And earth, you're, you're grounded. You've got some movement going on. But it's all about, again, earth and fire this week, you're looking inside. Fire, you do, you've got to pay attention to what's going on. And earth, you're checking into your subconscious because there's something that you're not quite understanding or something you're just about ready to miss because you're not listening to your instincts. So overall, everybody, it looks like it's going to be an awesome week. It's going to be a unique week. They keep bringing up the air-water combination, so that could be fun. Um <laughs> But let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, drop a like. Always appreciate that. And thank you, thank you everybody for helping this channel grow. We're over, um, 
we're getting right up to about 130 subscribers between the two platforms so i'm pretty excited about that thank you all and i will see you guys in the next video